and welcome back. And today I'm excited. No, I am super excited because we have got all the information that we could want and more for The Challenge Season 37, Spies, Lies, and Allies. I can't wait to say that in front of every single video this season. We got all the pertinent information that we're gonna want to know about The Challenge Season 37 from background information, the cast photos, cast information, and also when it's going to debut in this video, I'm going to be going through everything, the background information, the whole cast and everything. So let's just jump right into it. We're going to start off with the background information. Like I mentioned, this is going to be called The Challenge Season 37 Spies, Lies and Allies. Episode 1 will be debuting on August 11, 2021, 8, 7 Central on MTV. But also look out for a preliminary episode on August 9th, where we're gonna get kind of like everybody coming into the house, getting to know each other, kind of like last season in Double Agents where we had the declassified episode on the Monday before episode one, where everyone got to see everybody, talk to everybody, kind of get into the groove before heading into the first daily challenge. So that's what we're gonna get here. This is going to be 19 episode long season. The filming location was Croatia, and we have a total of 30 for contestants. I know last season some of the audience was like, wow, we have 30 contestants. That seems like a lot of people. Well, guess what? We have a total of 34 contestants, 15 veterans, 19 rookies. We have a rookie overload. Now, speaking of the cast, let's get into the cast and all their background information, starting with the vets in alphabetical order. And the first person we're going to be talking about is Amanda. Now, the challenge 37 will be Amanda's sixth season. We haven't seen her since the challenge season 33, War of the Worlds, where her and Josh lost to Ashley Kane and Cam in the uphill battle elimination. She's coming back after a, quite a while of hiatus, she became a mother, and now she's coming back to see how far she can get in the challenge. Now, somebody that wasn't in the official cast release, but we saw coming into the game in the trailer that they dropped with the cast photos is Amber B. This would be her second challenge season, and last time we saw her was winning the challenge double agents with CT. It looks like she's coming in the middle of the challenge season, coming in right before they start a daily challenge, so I don't know if there's going to be an injury or somebody's going to have to DQ or get evacuated from the season, and then Amber's going to be coming in, but she's coming into the season. Next up, we have Anissa. The challenge 37 will be her 15th challenge season. Last time we saw her was on double agents, as she lost a big T in the fire escape elimination but also the last time we saw her was competing on the challenge all-stars on paramount plus where she made it into the finals ashley millionaire mitchell coming in this will be her ninth season last time we saw her was on double agents where she lost in episode one to natalie in the fire escape elimination but she came back as a replacement in the middle of the season to where then she was thrown in against cam in the ring tossed elimination and she lost. Next up on this list, we have Big T, where the Challenge 37 will be her fourth challenge season. Last time we saw her was in the Challenge Double Agents, where she made it very far into the season, almost made it into the finals, until she ran into Amber B in the Hall Brawl, and she lost in episode 16 of that season. Next, we move over to Corey Warden in the challenge 37 will be his ninth challenge season last time we saw him was coming in second place with cam in the challenge double agents next up the man needs no introduction it is ct chris tamborello this would be his 19th challenge season and last time we saw him like I mentioned with Amber B, he won double agents is coming in. I think he's going to have a big target on his back. And I think it bodes well for him that the vets are coming in at a numbers disadvantage because maybe they won't want to go after him so early on. But we're going to have to wait and see what's going to happen with that. Next up, we have Devin, where the challenge 37 will be his sixth challenge season. Last time we saw him was on double agents, losing to Darrell in the ring toss elimination with a puzzle. Next up, let's get into the BB trio where we have Fessy. This will be his third challenge season in a row. Last time we saw him was in the double agents finals coming in fourth place as he was blaming Casey for getting injured, even though he couldn't eat and they were purged because they didn't eat fast enough. Next up, we move on to Josh where the challenge 37 will be his fifth challenge season. Last time we saw him was losing to CT in the double elimination in double agents in the ring tossed with a puzzle. Casey where the challenge 37 will be her third challenge season in a row. Last time we saw her 
She was being purged in Double Agents Final alongside Fessy. She got injured, she injured her knee, she got purged and got fourth place. Kyle, the Challenge 37, will be his seventh consecutive season. Last time we saw him, he was being medically DQ'd in the final elimination of the season where he went up against Fessy and then he had a broken finger. Medics wouldn't let him go on. He made it so far into that season, almost made it into the finals. I'm sure he's going to be looking at wanting to make it into the finals this season. We're going to have to see how far he can get. Somebody I'm very happy to see on this season is Nam. Last season was tragic for him as he was paired up with Lolo. Then he had a back injury that took him out being medically DQ'd. This will be his second challenge season and I'm very happy to see him back. I want to see him make it very, very far and see what he can really do. Next up, we have Nani. This will be her 11th challenge season. Last time we saw her was in the Double Agents Finals where she got third place alongside her longtime friend Leroy. And Nelson is back for this season of the challenge, 37. This will be his eighth challenge season. Last time we saw him was losing in a hall brawl to Fessy in Double Agents. I'm sure he's hoping not to see a hall brawl this coming season. And finally, rounding out the vets is Tori Deal coming on to do her sixth challenge season in Challenge 37. And last time we saw her was losing to Anissa in Asset Destruction. Now with the veterans out of the way, let's jump into the rookies. And the first one we have up is Berna, who was on Survivor Turkey twice. And she was also on Boxing Stars, which I think is Boxing with Stars, where it's just two stars going at each other. She is in great shape. She did Survivor. I'm excited to see what she can do, especially coming from Survivor Turkey, where that was where Turbo came from. Next up, we have Bettina from Paradise Hotel Sweden, where she played on that twice, where she won her second season on the show. Then we move on to Corey. From 12 Dates of Christmas, which is an HBO Max original reality show. It's a reality dating show. Also, he's a personal trainer. He is in great shape. Looking at his Instagram, he has got muscles on top of muscles. Next up, we're going back to the Survivor Well, this time Survivor Romania, where Emmanuel got runner up and he got all the way to the finals. He only got one vote against himself, where it looks to be like he could have a great social game, but also that was bad because nobody voted for him at the end. Somebody who was also on Survivor Romania the same season is Emmy, who was originally on X Factor, and then she went on Survivor Romania, where she got sixth place. Still very impressive. Then we move on to Esther from Big Brother Nigeria 4. She won HOH twice before being evicted in 14th place. Let's move on to Gabo, who was on an MTV original show, Warsaw Shore. This dude is big. This dude is jacked. He's also a ladies man. He's got an accent. He knows how to eat. I think he's going to be very, very tough in physical eliminations. Then we move on to Huey, who was on Big Brother UK 17. He was the runner up on that season. He also appeared on the Irish version of Dancing with the Stars, where in the season he was eliminated first. So he might not have good dance moves, but luckily you don't need that for the challenge. Then we move on to Love Island US contestant season two, Jeremiah, where he only lasted nine days, but he's super tall, super fit, super athletic. Then we move on to Too Hot to Handle's Kells, the first season of Too Hot to Handle, not the one that just appeared. He also played American football for the London Warriors. This dude is Jack. Kells is the one I'm most excited to see. I wasn't a huge fan of Too Hot to Handle either season one or season two, but I think Kells is like a shoe in to be a challenge regular, and I can't wait to see what he can bring to the season. Then we move back to Love Island US season two, where we have Lauren from England. She only lasted four days on the show, but she came in to try to shake things up. It didn't really work out that well, but let's see how long she can last in the challenge house. Let's move over to Logan, who was also on Survivor Spain, aka Survivors Lost in Honduras. He was the runner-up of that season. He's also a model and was crowned Mr. Global España 2017. This dude is an Adonis. He also has some strategy to him getting runner up in a Survivor season. Two people I'm very excited to see on this cast list is first Michaela Bradshaw from Survivor season 33 Millennials versus Gen X where she got 14th place and Survivor season 34 Game Changers where she got seventh place. And then also Michelle Fitzgerald, whose original shows were Survivor Season 32, Cal Rung. She was the winner on that one. And also she got second runner up in Winners at War. The Survivor season that just happened. I'm very excited to see these two women on the challenge. And I can't wait to see what they can bring to the show. Next up is Priscilla from Love Island UK Series 6. 
Her and Mike were dumped from the island right before the finals. I love Priscilla on that island and I can't wait to see her on the challenge back up on my TV screen. I can't wait. I kind of wish Mike was on this cast list as well, but I love Priscilla, so I'm happy to see her on this season. Next up, we have Renan from X on the Beach Double Dutch. He actually did two seasons of X on the Beach. He did season four and then All Stars. From looking at some of the clips, he's definitely a ladies man. He's definitely going to try to hit it up with the ladies. He's very much like a comedic relief. So if he can be kind of like a Kyle a little bit, I think that would add to the show and add to the diversity of what everyone brings to the show. This rookie needs no introduction as she is taken social media by storm in the US and everywhere when she was announced on the cast list early on and that is Tatcha from Big Brother Nigeria 4. She is coming in as a powerhouse with her titans. Tatcha is a media personality, YouTuber, humanitarian, and a serial entrepreneur. She is a media it girl. She has her own online store called Everything Tatcha. She is everything and anything. She has so many awards. She is coming in as a Big Brother Nigeria icon and I really, really can't wait to see her on the show. Next up, we have Tommy Sheehan from Survivor Island of the Idols, season 39. He won that season, and the final rookie on this list is also a winner. It is Tracy from Love Island, Germany, who won in season two of the show. This looks to be a very diverse group of people as we have 34 contestants, 19 rookies, 15 vets, 16 if you count Amber B. I am excited. One, to have a challenge season coming up very, very soon. I didn't know when to expect a new challenge season. I thought possibly that we were gonna get it in September. To hear that we're gonna get it in August is mind blowing. So I'm very excited to have another challenge season. And looking at the cast list, I'm very intrigued on how everything is going to play out as we have a lot of rookies coming in. Like I mentioned, rookie overload. And also seeing where everyone is from where they are in the world, what shows they're from. I think seeing how diverse the cast is could bring a lot to the show. And I'm actually looking forward to seeing what could happen. Again, I feel like I should be cautiously optimistic with how many rookies there are compared to the vets and how many contestants there are. But I can't help but to be excited inside because we're gonna have a challenge season in August. August 11th, August 9th, we're gonna have the first episode of The Challenge, 37 Spies, Lies, and Allies. I'm gonna just be practicing that over and over again until August 9th. But now I turn it over to you. What do you think about The Challenge 37 in total? With all the information, can you believe that we're gonna have a challenge season in August? What do you think about the cast list? Who are you gonna be rooting for on the vet side? What do you think about all the rookies? Who do you think is gonna do really well on the rookie side? What do you think about the trailer that was dropped with the cast photos? Don't worry, I'm gonna be doing a shot for shot break down of the trailer coming very very soon but let me know anything and everything you feel about the challenge season 37 spies lies and allies down in the comment section below are you excited are you super excited or are you going to be cautiously optimistic or are you just not feeling it right now maybe you need a couple of episodes to see what's going to happen maybe learn about the format a little bit before you get too invested into the season i totally understand it let me know anything and everything down in the comment section below but thank you so much for watching while you're down there hit that like and subscribe button i'll be back really really soon with more Challenge 37 content, more Challenge content, more content in general. But until then, peace.